I'm going to the horse racing with some friends and I'm determined to do it properly, so I'm going to place a bet. The only problem is I don't really know anything about horse racing, but I do know something about maths and a bit about probability, so I'm hoping that will help. In the first race, there's three horses I like the colour of, so I think I'm going to go for one of those. There's Unlikely Lad, he's at 50 to 1, so I figure if I put £10 on him, I'll win £500, which would be great. But then one of my friends told me he's not very likely to win, the clues in the name and the odds. So, so then I looked at Favourite Philly. Well, she's pretty likely to win, obviously, but she's only at two to one. So if I put a tenner on her, I only win 20 pounds, which is okay, but it's not that exciting. And then there's a horse in the middle whose name I really like because he's called Decimal Dan. He's at 10 to one. But again, I could put 10 pounds on him and win 100 pounds. That wouldn't be bad, but then I had a great idea. What if I hedge my bets and instead of just going for one horse, I place my bets so that if favourite filly or Decimal Dan or Unlikely Lad win, I will still win. So I could put £10 on Favourite Philly and £10 on Decimal Dan and £10 on Unlikely Lad and then I will win either £20, £100 or £500. But I'm most likely to win £20 and since I'll have placed £30 out in bets, I, I think that would feel worse than just losing outright. So I had a brilliant idea. I'm going to weight my bets according to how likely I think they are to win. So on Favourite Philly, she's the most likely to win. So instead of just putting £10 on her to win £20, I'm going to put £50 on her and then if she wins, I'll win £100. Decimal Dan, I'll stick with my £10 bet. So if he wins, I get £100. Unlikely lad, well, I'm still going to put something on him, but I'm just going to put £2 on because he's at 50 to 1. So if he wins, I'll still get £100. So essentially now, if favourite filly or Decimal Dan or Unlikely lad win, I get £100 but I've placed £62 in bets now. So winning £100 for £62 still doesn't feel that exciting, really. So I think to make it more exciting, instead of adding my probabilities so that if Favourite Philly or Decimal Dan or Unlikely Lad win, I'm going to multiply them so that I need all three of them to win in order to get a payout. Now you'll have spotted this will only work if they're running in three separate races because clearly they can't all three win the same race. But that's fine because in my imaginary horse racing meets they're now running in successive races. I'm going to place what's called an accumulator bet which means that all three of them have to win their races for me to get the payout. So favourite filly's running in the first race and because she's on two to one I'm guessing she's got about a one in three chance of winning. So let's see. She's got a one in three chance of winning the first race. That means there's a two thirds chance that I'll be out at the first race, but let's be optimistic and suppose she wins. In the second race, Decimal Dan is running. And again, because he's 10 to one, I'm gonna assume he's got a one in 11 chance of winning. So my total chance of them winning the first two races between them and me still being in the accumulator is a third times an 11th. So that's one in 33. So I'll be pretty lucky if, if they both win, but Let's be optimistic. Let's assume they've both won in the third race. Here comes Unlikely Lad. Go on, my son. Go on, my son. Yes. How likely is he to win? Well, he's at 50 to 1, so he's probably got about a 1 in 51 chance of winning, which is quite long odds. So multiply that by the 1 in 33 chance that the first two horses won, and we have 1 in 1,683 chance that all three of them win, and my accumulator comes in which is certainly a lot more exciting and a lot more unlikely. If I've placed a tenner on that accumulator, I should get something like £16,830, which would be pretty good. So that's multiplying the probabilities, which gives me much longer odds, but a big payout in the unlikely event that I win. But of course, you can only multiply those probabilities together like that if you assume that the chance of one of the horses winning is not going to affect the chances that either of the other two wins. In the real world, what's called an independent variable may not be that independent. For example, what if all three horses are being ridden by the same jockey? It could be that after the first wonderful win on favourite filly, he's so fired up with winning that he's more likely to go on and win the next two races. Or conversely, it could be that after winning the first race, he's more tired, and so he's less likely to win with every successive race. That's, again, where knowing something about horse racing would probably help me. Or to choose a more ludicrous example, it could be that all three horses are in the same stable, being trained by the same trainer, who's given them all steroids. 
but that's not really a job for maths. That's a job for chemistry. If you want a safe bet for lots of great YouTube videos, you should subscribe. You don't even have to place a stake of money. It's completely free. You just have to press this button.